I knew about who Larry was. I didn't know the depth of his story, but I knew that he had broke into the NHL. Moisin Hashem is no stranger when it comes to inspiring the next generation of hockey players. Hashem launched Hockey for Youth in 2015, which helps get new Canadians and high-priority youth on the ice. With the role reverse, I was the leading scorer that year. Hashem has now joined a campaign to get Larry Kwong, a Chinese-Canadian hockey player, into the Hall of Fame. Kwong broke the color barrier as the first NHL player of Asian descent in 1948. A petition in support on Hockey for Youth website has already garnered more than 8,500 signatures. When you look at his career and how he even gets to the New York Rangers, um, he's showcasing it through his skill, but there's a lot of barriers for him. Uh, the racism and discrimination that he would have faced at that time, that fact that he just continued to play and he had a successful career as a pro uh, for many years, not only here in Canada, but also in Europe, that's what's really remarkable. Kuang was called up to the Rangers after playing on its minor league team. He only played about 60 seconds. However, many say it's what he did after his short NHL stint in both North America and Europe is what merits him a shot in the Hockey Hall of Fame. And, you know, if it wasn't for discrimination and racism, uh, Larry would have remained in the NHL. Um, we, we know that. We see that with Herb Carnegie's story. We see that with Willie O'Ree's story. There are just these barriers that existed at that time and that continue to exist in some way, shape, or form today. But then after his career as a player in North America is done, he goes to Switzerland, he goes to England, he plays there. He, in fact, coaches and plays in Switzerland in five cities. And that's where he really cements himself as a perfect person to be in the Hockey Hall of Fame. He's building the game of hockey in Europe as an Asian player uh, facing those barriers that exist for him. And that's what makes him perfect for the Hockey Hall of Fame in the builder category. Because the builder category is not about just your stats on the ice, but it's about what did you do for the game. The category was started in 2009 and includes more than 100 off-ice officials, sports commentators, owners, and others who have contributed to building the sport. I was really proud and I was I said, well, I finally made it. The Hockey Hall of Fame Selection Committee takes public submissions for nominations until March 15th. The committee makes decisions on honorees in June, and the annual induction ceremony takes place every November. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.